for me. Like everyone in life experiences. Yeah. Hey guys, a few months ago, my friend Ben called me up and basically said, "Would you like to come swimming with sharks, but with no cage, and in the middle of the ocean, like 50 kilometers away from land?" You see, I measure my life in Instagrams, so which means I'll do pretty much anything for a good selfie. I was adrift like the wind in the trees, where the pea doves were singing the sweet melodies. There I was, not a care in the world, safe for the such a beautiful girl. And then you came. I could imagine all the insane Instagrams I was gonna get. Selfie with a shark, straddling a shark, high-finning a shark. This is gonna be awesome. And since I felt a deep need for more near-death experiences in my life, this was a great opportunity. So these guys are going shock cage diving. And somehow Ben managed to convince us to go without the cage. It's not right now. It's not right. If you're gonna swim with sharks, don't put a cage between you and the sharks. Swim with sharks. <laughs> you convinced? I'm worried about this. It's gonna be okay. That is the face of terror. <laughs> You're just a chum. Funnily enough, it wasn't actually the thought of diving with sharks or being 500 meters deep in the ocean that actually scared me. You see, I get seasick in the bath, and so the thought of dropping two and a half hours south of the coast of South Africa, past the freaking cold ocean current until a warmer current appears, was terrifying. <laughs> if I got seasick, it was going to be two and a half hours of waiting around, then a two and a half hour journey back. That's five hours of seasickness death before I reach land. But I talked to my doctor and he said, don't worry, I've got these pills that stop epileptics from having seizures. So they're really great for seasickness and here you can take these. Cool, I thought it would be fine. We're all suited up and ready to go. So we made everyone late. So, that's how I roll. The water was deceptively peaceful around the harbor, so I began to relax. Start our long journey to the Arctic. It's gonna be the last time you see land. <laughs> so, guys, just uh, we have two of our friends that've been with us for a while. They've been out here twice already, so they know the drill. Then suddenly we reach these huge ocean swells off Cape Point coast, and I'm talking about three to four meters. I got sick instantly, like seriously, I chundered everywhere. And this is pretty much where my vlogging ability checked out. Not only that, my desire to live checked out too. I started throwing up every two to three minutes from the time we arrived for two and a half hours while we sat around in the boat and dived with sharks. They say seasickness has two bad stages. One, the bad stage, when you feel like you're gonna die. And two, the even worse stage, when you realize you're not gonna die and you actually have to stick it out. I'd come this far, so there was no ways that I was not getting in the water. So I did get in the water, but while Ben was getting shots like this, I was getting shots like this. Ben and then Ben and then I know this is not the most common experience, but I'm sure you can relate to what I was feeling. This was so disappointing. All I could think about was just like look when all I wanted to be thinking about was swimming with these amazing creatures and taking some amazing Instagrams, let's not lie. I'm sure you've probably had a similar experience with something less trivial. Perhaps you didn't get into that college that you really wanted to, or you did really badly in an exam, or you didn't get that job, or your lifelong crush found someone else, I don't know. Serious disappointment can become all-consuming, it can eat us up. It's like this big black thing in front of our face that we just can't see past. We think this is it, and this is all that matters in life. We think this is gonna ruin our future, when all it does is actually just change our future. When failure brings one path to an end, it just means that we have to walk down another one. The original concept of this vlog was going to be one about fear and overcoming fear. But more appropriately, now it's about disappointment and failure. Disappointments are real and painful and we all experience them. But trust me, over time we look back on those disappointments and they just look like hiccups in our story. So the next time you're feeling really disappointed and can't see past the big black orb in front of your face, 
know that the blindness is just temporary and that given a bit of time you'll be able to look back and probably laugh about these hiccups. So if you're brave, help everyone else see that they're not alone and that the blindness is just temporary and comment with one of your major disappointments in life. It's like this big black thing in our vision that we just can't see behind. You can't touch my face with it. I was not expecting to touch your face. I was like, oh, I've made contact. <laughs>